Quite often on our program, we share stories of how the LSU Ag Center plays a pivotal role in supporting agriculture and its related industries across the state. But did you ever wonder how the LSU Ag Center got its start? Joining us now with this week's Ag Minute is Kristen Oaks. And Kristen, I didn't even know this, and I was around when it started. You know, a lot of people think that 4-H came from the Ag Center, but in actuality, it was the other way around. And a small group of farm kids in Avoyles Parish created the state's 4-H program that would build the foundation to grow agriculture in Louisiana. The LSU Ag Center was established on the university's Baton Rouge campus in 1972, but its roots go all the way back to Avoyles Parish in 1908. There, a group of young boys started the first state corn club, which would become the 4-H program we know today. In 1914, Congress signed the Smith-Lever Act, which established the cooperative extension system to support local 4-H groups. This act created statewide partnerships between the U.S. Department of Agriculture and land-grant universities like LSU. In 1972, the LSU Board of Supervisors decided to create a separate entity for ag programs apart from the main LSU system. So they combined the Cooperative Extension Service and the Louisiana Experimental Station to form the LSU Ag Center to focus on research and education. Today, the LSU Ag Center's mission remains the same. Provide the people of Louisiana with research-based information to improve their lives and economic well-being. The LSU Ag Center has one of the most active intellectual property programs in the country because of their extensive and high-quality research. More than 50 scientists have received patents and new plant varieties for their work with the Ag Center. Moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia, last time I asked you which Roman goddess was named the protector of the grains, and the answer is B. Ceres. For this week's question, the first 4-H short course program started in which year? Is it A, 1825? B, 1915, or C, 1987. To enter this week's trivia contest, all you need to do is head on over to our website, twilatv.org, choose the correct answer, and we'll send one winner a Twila gift pack. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, does it seem like you're spending more money when you go to the grocery store? I know it does for me. Neil Malasaw tells us if you really are, just how much of your food dollar makes it to the farmer. The bottom line is up next. <music> 